If a gun is actually retrieved at a crime scene, the crime scene technician would bring it back to the lab. They would process that gun for DNA or fingerprints. That gun would be turned into evidence, and at some point after that, I'd be called to test fire that gun. The test fired information is brought to me and where this office and we would actually enter it into this computer and hopefully within a very short period of time be able to solve every crime in Greensboro. The uh, pistols or rifles are actually shot into a water tank so that we can retrieve the bullets that allows us to have a continuous chain. We know that bullet came from that gun. Then all of the information is sealed in an envelope and it, it starts the entire chain of custody of that particular gun in that particular case. IBIS is the Integrated Ballistics Identification System. There are a lot of remote hubs that are tied to different servers and we're all tied together. My information can be retrieved anywhere and I can retrieve information from anywhere else to compare to my stuff. The IBIS system uses digital cameras to actually reproduce the surfaces of the cartridge case or the bullets. Uh, it's two independent um, systems. The bullet itself, it's mounted on a drive. They use lasers to focus the cameras and the camera images are actually interlaced so that you get a microscopic reproduction of each impression on the bullets. Then the computer itself, every four hours, downloads the information to a central server and we get scores back and they, they hopefully will match up gun to crime or crime to crime. We actually have to visually inspect uh, each image. We've got a side-by-side -side image that we can overlay with a split screen and we can actually line up the actual deformation or the deformed characteristics of the bullets or the cartridge cases. Some cases are earth shattering and some of them are just another match. Some of them we get really excited about.